Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Light Rays node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve effect available within Fusion. So let's jump into Fusion. And we've got some media. And uh, we want to add some light rays coming down. Because uh, the footage has got some. But they're a little uh, kind of muted. And uh, we can make it a little more exciting. So let's go ahead and add a light Raise node. So right off the bat, we're starting to get some little more exciting light rays. But as you can tell, uh, our footage is moving. So our light rays are kind of bouncing around a little bit. So the first thing we want to do is we want to adjust this location of our rays. So with this, we can change the location of our rays to uh, have our rays projected in a uh, different direction but we want this kind of attached to our lights because it shouldn't be moving as uh, our footage moves around our light rays should be sticking to our light so let's go ahead and uh, disconnect this and we're going to add a tracker so just a regular tracker node and let's go up here and uh, let's just pick one of these lights to stick it to. So I'm going to go ahead and track forward. And there we go. We've got our track. So we can disconnect this, reconnect to our lights or our light rays. And under our light rays, we can go to position, right click on position, connect to tracker position. So now our light rays are uh, staying correct and not bouncing around like they should not be. So under our uh, light ray node, we have three ways to view it. Right now it's set to final result, but we can look at our rays alone and we can look at our source rays. And under here, we have two options to be able to select our source rays. By default, it's set to bright regions. So it looks like this. If we selected edges, it's only going to uh, select the edges of our sources. And under that, we have our source threshold, so we can dial it back to get rid of some of this blooming that's going around on her. So we can change our threshold to alter our threshold of what's actually casting our light rays. Now, another thing down here I talked about the other day, how these nodes are, in general, meant to be used within the color grading tab and use this alpha as our alpha for the options like alpha mass light sources and alpha limits effect. So let's go ahead and add a channel balloon to uh, add an alpha. So I'm gonna hit shift space, channel, boolean, and we're gonna input this to the background. And uh, let's look at our channel node and we're going to grab a rectangle and put it to our foreground. And let's just select copy and our red to red background, green to green background, blue to blue background, and alpha to alpha foreground. So now we've got an alpha. And we can come in here and uh, say we only want those center lights to be uh, used as our little uh, alpha. We can change them. So now if we go back to our rays, and uh, input our uh, channels there. If we go to our rays and we look at source regions, now only that center is our source region. But if we uncheck that, everything is. If we check that, or uh, alpha is being used as our source region. So if we look, only our center lights are being used. So that's how you would use the alpha, but let's go ahead and delete these so we have everything. Now, under our position, right here, we have our ray direction. And right now, it's set from, from a location, which is our location we attach to our tracker. We can uh, also change at an angle. So if we want to add a specific angle, we can come in here and we can alter our angle. But let's leave that from a location. Under position, we have this new little shimmer option here. So, and what shimmer is going to do is it's going to add a little bit of shimmer it's kind of like our atmosphere, but we don't actually see our atmosphere. So if I check this, 
you can see we've got a little movement and a little shimmering going over here. But if I crank it, you can see what it's really doing over here. And I can change my detail of my shimmer. I can change the scale of that shimmer. I can change the uh, horizontal versus the vertical ratio. I can alter the evolution of the shimmer and I can change the seethe rate of that shimmer. So now you can see the shimmer, the higher we add that seethe rate, you can really see that shimmer shimmer. This is how this is without it. And this is with it. So you can see it's kind of shimmery, like there's an atmosphere or smoke kind of moving in the background. And if I go to our source regions, we can really see what's happening with our little shimmer here. So as I play, you can see it's adding noise to our uh, source regions and uh, I can change the strength. And if I shut it off and on, you can see what that's doing. Under our appearance, we have uh, four different options. We have our default, which is casting these soft rays. We have keep source or keep shape of source, which means whatever the source shape is, is going to keep those shapes on the bottom here. So if I minimize this length, you can see it's maintaining the shapes of our lights at the end of the rays. We also have CCD bloom harsh, which is going to be a, an extremely harsh bloom. So you can see we can change the lengths of that. And this setting as well as the uh, CD bloom soft are good options if you just need some light wrap. So let's go ahead and switch that back to our default soft and under length, we can change the length of our rays. We can change the relative length on the red, green, and blue independently. So I can change those up independently on each color channel. I can soften our rays or make them harsh. We can change the brightness. We can change the gamma and we can change our saturation level. Additionally, we can colorize it if we want. So if I wanted them a different color, we could change it. But leaving it white is going to use the, uh, the source color to color your rays. Under atmosphere, we can add an actual atmosphere. So if I select add atmosphere, it's going to add a noise on our rays here. So if I look at our rays alone, you can see it's adding this noise. We can change the strength. We can change the detail. We can change the scale on the horizontal versus vertical ratio as well. We can change the evolution and we can change the rate of that seed. So it's moving more, but mind you, this is not going to move with your camera or with your, uh, little tracker here, it's going to stay stagnant. So it's not going to look very realistic if your camera is moving like this, because your atmosphere is just going to be sitting in one spot other than the seeth going on. So let's go ahead and shut our atmosphere off. And under advanced controls, we can uh, use this source recovery to bring anything back. So if our lights are a little too blown out, you can uh, use this source recovery to bring it back in. In addition, we have all the standard composite types listed. So that is the light rays node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.